complicated. Well, not really though, but it is. So the first thing we want to do is it asks us to determine the first uh, five terms. So to do that, uh, we have a sub 1, which is right here. So that one's completed. Now, hold on. To find a sub 2, we just put in a sub 1 in for k. And notice if we do that, a sub 1 plus 1 equals a sub 2, right? Which equals putting in again a 1 in for k, negative 2 times a sub 1. So to determine what a sub 2 is, we just plug in the previous term into our formula. Well, negative 2 times 5, or negative 2, a sub 1 equals 5, which equals negative 10. So a sub 2 is negative 10. Then you guys can see the, the pattern. Again, you just keep on following that pattern. To find a sub 3 is when you put a sub 2 in for 1. So it's really negative 2 times negative 10, which equals 20. a sub 4 is going to be negative 2 times 20, which equals negative 40. And then a sub 5, I will just do in my head, which will be negative 2 times negative 40, which equals positive 80. So that's the first step, all right? Then it says to find, determine the rule. So we could either try to think of the rule, or we have two formulas to find the rule, either an arithmetic formula or a geometric. Hopefully you understand that since this uh, section is on geometric, that's the rule that I want you to follow. And you can also just determine, <coughs> Is the difference from negative 10 to 5 the same as the difference from 20 to negative 10? No, so it's obviously not arithmetic, right? However, I do want to kind of see if I can pick anybody's brains. Megan, do you remember the formula for, N, for the rule for an arithmetic formula? Come on, think, think, think. No? Justin, do you remember? Arithmetic formula, do you remember the formula? For a sub n. Amelia, do you remember? Oh, I know the geometric. What's the arithmetic? You guys have to know this oh, before you take this yeah, test. A of n, a of uh, a of one, plus n minus n. Yeah, it's even actually even written on the board over there. Good for you. I wasn't looking at that. But that's OK, Megan. That's OK. Um, so yes, this is for arithmetic, right? If, you, if I ask you to find a rule and you know you have a sequence of numbers that is an arithmetic sequence, all you need to do is if you want to know these values or you know this information, you can find the rule. But now what we're going to be talking about is geometric. So now the next rule that you, we need to know to be able to find a rule geometrically without doing that guess and check, right? Nobody liked that guess and check kind of idea. To do geometrically, Zoe, the rule is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1. That is our rule. So now we look at these values, and we need to be able to determine, OK, what is going to be the rule? Well, to define the rule, we need to know what a sub 1 is, and we need to know what r is, where n represents any number in the sequence. So remember, r represents our rate. So we need to make sure we can determine, is the ratio between our terms going to be exactly the same? So is negative 10 over 5 equal to 20 over negative 10? And is that equal to 40 or negative 40 over 20? And if they are equal, they equal our value r which in this case is equal to negative 2. Right? Then a sub 1 was provided in the problem. So to get an m for this problem, you need to have 5 times negative 2 n minus 1. So if you have that, you can give yourself an m. If you at least got to this part, I'd be nice to you and give you an a. If you tried something, but you maybe didn't get all the values, give yourself a t. If you um, didn't do it correctly, but you did something, give yourself an H. And if you didn't do anything, give yourself